Hey friends, okay, so today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my testimony. And I have actually, I've been doing this for over three years and I've never shared my testimony with uh, with you guys. So I thought it would be kind of a interesting, I I personally love hearing people's testimonies. It's, it, I get to see God's hands in everything and you know, I just love it. I love how, you know, some of them are like these huge testimonies and some are just like, very simple but so beautiful. All of them are so beautiful. So that's what I'm gonna do today is talk about my testimony and thank you so much for joining. So my testimony is that my mom actually had a conversion before I was born. So she was brought up Catholic and um, and then she was at a marriage encounter retreat with, with my dad and she just had this huge conversion while she was there and she kind of never looked back. And, and so it was interesting because growing up, I always knew the Catholic faith. She taught it to us. She really just like, that was a huge part of her passion. She's like a very passionate woman. And that was what she put her passion into was the Catholic faith. And I, I loved it. I thought my mom was the coolest mom ever. Like I looked up to her. I thought she could do no wrong. You know, I was just like, I never went through that like weird teenage stage of like thinking my mom was like so not cool. Um, I always thought she was amazing and so cool. And you know, and she was very like into the faith and she did not sway from it. Like I, I really appreciated that from her, like her integrity with the faith. And she was just very strong in that. And I found that beautiful. I love strong people, you know, and stuff. Like most of my wedding party, all of those women who stood next to me are all very strong in the faith and stuff. And I, I just loved it. So anyway, so my mom had a big part to do with my faith and my journey to loving God deeper. Um, at first I loved God because my mom did and I just you know she would pray the daily rosary she got really into marrying apparitions and then I started like praying the rosary with her so she'd pray the rosary every day in fact she did all three mysteries at the time when I was little there were three different you know rosaries that you could do and she would pray all three a day and she would ask me if I wanted to pray and I would say yes and I just loved you know, sitting by her and doing what she did and she prayed the rosary. And so from a very young age, I learned the rosary and I loved it. Um, I, I would say that it was more for her, but it became later on more for me. Like I learned that I loved Mother Mary and just the way mom, my mom talked about it, it was so awesome. So my parents ended up getting a divorce when I was four. So before that whole thing part started and I didn't see much of my dad. So a lot of my testimony actually has to do with my dad. Um, so I grew up, my mom ended up remarrying somebody and he is a phenomenal guy. They're still very happily married, um, wonderful. But you know your own father is different from a stepfather. Even though my stepfather is amazing and phenomenal I love him so 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 much but there's something about like your own father that you just like really truly want to be loved by them and appreciated and all of that well my dad is a nice guy but he really wasn't there for me for most of my childhood he um, you know he, he met somebody else and they you know lived their life and I didn't really see much of him. I'd see him on Christmas and Easter and Thanksgiving and maybe once or twice um, other than that, you know, throughout the year. And for anybody who's been through a divorce, I think it's really, really something that um, is hard. I think it's very hard because that's not how God created it. He created marriage to be a bond forever and for the children to see that bond, you know? So when that bond is broken, I think that it can be very painful for, for the children as well as, you know, the husband and wife. Um, my parents, their divorce was really nice. Like they are really nice to each other. My dad passed away a couple years ago, but I've never heard either one of them say something mean or nasty about the other person. They've always been very nice. Like if they're at parties together, they're very nice. So it was literally like 
the best case scenario for divorce you know like both my parents are extremely nice and they still are um and they still were to each other that didn't change anything um but i think to the core of me i i still wanted my father i wanted that approval i wanted to be wanted to be loved and so for me what i did was i tried really hard to be super good because i you know i was telling myself if maybe if i'm nice enough or good enough he will take interest in me and want to be near me and um you know i have we have i have a sister and a brother who are from that marriage as well and it's interesting because we each um, dealt with it very differently like my older sister was very demanding and like uh, demanded his attention and he, he kind of gave it to her because he demanded it she demanded it and then my brother Randy you know he kind of spiraled off and you know um, went down the wrong path is what I will say but um, so we all dealt with it very differently and for me thankfully my mom taught me the rosary at an early age and about God and about God's love and I remember um, struggling still you know but I remember going to a retreat in high school and it was called a youth 2000 retreat and the whole retreat is Franciscan brothers and they're it's all based around the Eucharist and and so it's really neat. It's the whole entire weekend. Jesus is there. It's it's powerful, amazing. Anyway, I'm at this retreat and I for the first time felt like God tell me, Heather, I am your father. And it was something that I felt in the depth of my core, you know, that I um that for the first time ever I had a true father not that you know my stepdad wasn't like he was he was as well and same with you know my dad but they weren't they didn't fulfill me the way that I you know that I thought a father should so I heard God the Father tell my heart you know within my heart but it was like I said to the core Heather I am your father and I will always take care of you and protect you and love you um, and it was the first time that I felt like I just me being me was enough and um, oh, I'm gonna cry um, and that and that experience that one little experience changed my life forever like it really truly did and um, I got to for the first time understand that I didn't have to like prove anybody anything I didn't have to like you know be super good at, I was in hockey at the time ice hockey I didn't have to prove that I was the best in hockey or you know the smartest or the funniest or the nicest or anything that God created me to love me and that even you know if you know my fathers couldn't be you know what I had hoped he is my ultimate father who will love me and has never and will never abandon me and um it was something that like like i said changed the core of me and it, that is where like catholicism and my life changed and it became my own you know like i had said before it was my kind of my mom's like i i did it because it pleased my mom and i wanted to please my mom but it was the first time that it became for me like i fell in love with god and for the first time i felt like i had self-worth and um you know throughout my whole school and just you know high school everything i did not feel that way until that retreat i felt like um like everyone was better than me everyone was you know great and loved and you know just and i still feel like i still have that like where i see people and i'm like they are so awesome but it's for for the first time where i was like god created me to love me and he loves me so much that you know that he sent his son for me but like it was like i had a personal relationship with god the father like creator of all the universe like like 
it kind of just blows my mind when I think about it. But I still, to this day, out of like the whole Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I obviously love Jesus and everything, but I have this like connection to God the Father that I, I am loved and I don't deserve the love, but he freely gives it to me and he freely gave me his son, Jesus, for me. Even if I was the only person on earth, God would have still did that, you know, sent his son to die for me. And that, like, it was so earth shattering to me in a good way. Like, I was just like, it made me realize how loved I am. And, um, and I just, I so wish that everybody had that, has that right now, because it is for everybody. I'm not the only person God loves that way. I, he loves me uniquely, but he loves each one of us uniquely. He created us all very unique. And, um, and so that was like something that I just, I truly, honestly wish that everybody has that and has has that for their whole life remembers it because i think a lot of us deal with that those issues of like i'm not enough i'm such a sinner i you know all of these things but when you know how loved you are by god the father you cannot help but try to run from sin and try to do what is holy and right and pleasing to god because that is ultimately why what's worth living for you know it's not worth living for for ourselves and for our own glory and you know all of that i love the um in the bible it says he must increase and i must decrease and that is so against our society right now where it's like no less god and more of us you know more selfies more me 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 more likes more you know all these things but that is not how God created us. He created us to be fully happy and at peace and joyful when we are when we are worshiping Him and focused on Him, not ourselves. And um, and I'm just I feel very blessed that at an early age I got to learn that because that is something that some people don't learn, you know, till their deathbed or you know other other things like. And like to learn it at an early age right now, even if you are like, you know, in your forties like me or older or younger, God loves you so much. And if you understood the depth of that, you would never want to sin again. You would never want to live your life for yourself. You would want to live it for him. You would want to live it serving others. And I, I hope and pray that everyone who's searching for Christ understands that, who's searching for God, because he is right there. He's waiting for you. He wants you. He designed you and made you because he loves you and he wants you to himself. And, um, and Satan is trying really hard to tell us otherwise, that we are not good enough, that we're too much of a sinner, that we have no good in us. And that's not true. We have so much good in us. We, we cannot even fathom how much God loves us. And if we understood, our lives would be different. Um, so anyway, so that's kind of my testimony. It has a lot to do with my father. And I, as I grew, if you're, if you're curious, as I grew, I, I did become closer to my father. Um, he happened to love, <laughs> to love the man that I married, um, Eric. Uh, he just, and everybody does, like Eric, there's something about Eric that he, like, he's a little intimidating, but he's funny and he's, I don't know, like there's some, like he's so confident and humble and anyway. So my dad loved Eric, loves, I mean, he's in, you know, he's in a different place now. He's passed, but, um. But ever since like I, he met Eric and he became more fond of me in a weird way, um, which is okay. Like that didn't bother me at all. I love that he loved Eric too and stuff. And um, he was just so proud that, you know, Eric was gonna be his son and stuff like that. So, um, and I think it's great. I have, I have nothing but love for my my father my dad um you know and i never ever felt 
mad towards him or anything like that i had nothing but love for him and yeah he has his own story and stuff my stepdad amazing like one of the nicest people you will ever meet in your in your life he's amazing and um to this day i still think of him as my my dad and i do feel blessed by the life god gave me but i think that it's neat how god took my situation of wanting so much to be loved by my father and he made me realize i'm your father like i'm the one that matters like i designed you i created you and i just feel very blessed and i hope everybody will feel that blessed and loved and wanted because you all are um best way to get close to god is go to confession say you're sorry you know sacraments like go to adoration pray 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 grow close to God and that's what he wants. He wants us to praise and adore him. And sometimes I think we get wrapped up with the things we want. I want, pray, pray for me, me, me. But he really wants us to thank him and say thank you God for this beautiful life that you've given to me and praise him and that he deserves all the praise in the world because he is amazing. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and until next time, I will see you all later. God bless, bye.